Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. In continuation of fixing up Big Red, today we're going to be taking off uh, the wheels on this axle because if you look around the hub, you'll notice there are some kind of muddier looking spots on here. And that would be from the wheel seal leaking. So we're going to take these two wheels off and see what we got. Um, we've already done the front two wheels we replaced on one of the wheels. On this side, I think it was. Um, brake drum, brakes, wheel seal, basically everything inside of it. So we're just gonna take this one off, see what we got. Um, we have to do it to at least three of these wheels, but since we're gonna be doing three, we might as well just take off all four and make sure that the brakes are set properly. Um, another issue that we have on this particular brake is that, you'll hear that, hear that hissing is that slack adjuster rod that you're looking at right here is too long. Uh, it should be shorter, like on this side. Dad and I think that it just needs to be cut off, but like I said, we'll know more once we take everything off. Yeah, they put a new chamber on. It didn't cut the shaft off the length. Yep. So It should be this length of that side there. Yep. <clears throat> so we're going to have a look at the brakes too. We're going to take the drum off and everything, have a look at it. And... Um, yeah. Whatever it needs. yeah, just replace whatever it needs. where it is the, the drum is brand new yet but polish that baby up and they haven't been being used mm -hmm. i think we'll just clean them up and use them over again if we're going to use that rim might as well again. where's it leaking though looks like it's leaking on the back side well, i'm sure it is they're rear wheel soon yep oh yeah oh there we go got it Good. Yep, just so that nut will turn. May have to go just a little bit more because we need to turn this nut out of there. Okay. Looks like you can bend any of them. Yep, you can. Okay, then you got at least one more here. Now lay that in the bucket face down. We want to put everything in the way the way it came out. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Lay that down. I wonder if we should look into getting one of those nut or sockets for this. Only twenty-four dollars. That's what it says on the internet anyway. That'd be worth it. Okay, now lay that. Yep. Right. Just like that. How do you get? That's another uh, nut. That's not supposed to be very tight, though. She's tight. <clears throat> it's not rough or anything, is it? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So it didn't So it's going like this. There you go. Back bearing. See, that's supposed to be polished like that. Hmm. Okay, get some rags and stuff in there. Cover that up with some rags so we don't get nothing in our bearings. We're done for the night. Now we need parts. Put it on the trailer. All, all it is is you take these four bolts out. Oh, I guess that works too. This tube here pulls out. Your bushing is a bushing here, your bushing there. You just replace this tube. We're going to replace this airbag while we're right here with the wheels off. Bolt there, and a bolt in the bottom of the airline, the airbag comes off. We're going to take that brake chamber off, cut it to the right length. You shouldn't have to take this off because with that brake chamber off, that adjuster will, we can ratchet that any place we want it to go. So we're good there. Just gotta cut that off to the right leg to put it back on. So we just got the spindle off and we're gonna on it good for tonight because we need to go and get parts from Mutual Wheel. So we still gotta take off the slack adjuster in the back. But other than that. Place this airbag. Yeah, we're gonna replace the airbag too. It's all four airbags. We got a steal on the airbags. Um, typically, I guess they run over a hundred bucks usually. Um, we got them on sale for like fifty-five bucks a piece, so we just got new airbags for all four corners. Well, they're all four shot. They had to have them anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the morning. So here is the old airbag. You can see that it's dry rotted, pretty bad. Here's the new one. We got a steal on these airbags. Uh, Truck Country was doing a sale where they're 55 bucks a piece. Now the trailer airbags, which we've got to replace all those as well. Um, we could The cheapest we could find those is like 120, 130. So um, yeah, we basically got all these for just over 200 bucks.
this is the one brake drum that we're not changing. This one was hardly used. Uh, basically, the brakes weren't set properly on this wheel, so uh, it didn't have a groove in it. Uh, if it has a groove on the outside edge, it's a pretty good way of knowing that you got to get a new one. So we're going to throw it back on. I'm just cleaning out the rust on the inside, and then we're going to throw it back on and call it good. More snow. I wonder how long it's gonna stick around this time. So we just did some more work on the truck. Here is the second airbag that we've taken off. Clearly dry rotted. And uh, I'll take you over and have a look at the truck. So, so far on the truck, actually yesterday we went and spent 800 bucks. And what that was for were for all new drums, uh, all new seals for the back wheels and um, what else are we changing? Uh, the four airbags were 200 bucks because we got those things for steel. And um, yeah, we just got done doing the first rear axle here and it wasn't really all that bad. About the worst process, part of this whole process is just cleaning everything off and getting everything, you know, all the grease and uh, dirt just off. And otherwise, everything's pretty simple. Dad and I were even saying, you know, like, hey, this is actually kind of fun because we didn't know anything about trucks when we first started and just taking everything apart and having a look at what makes the truck run kind of helps you get an idea on what you're working with and what you should expect, especially like if we're out in the road. And I think that something doesn't feel right on the truck, especially with the brakes, I can go back and have a look and I know what to look for. So next part in this process is going to be taking out the axle, which will be this plate here, just like we had done with that one, pull it out of there. Uh, we'll have to redo the rear wheel seal and uh, we'll, we have a new gasket to put in here. Hopefully that should solve the leak on this side. Now, if you look down here, this is an S cam as they call them. And what the S cams do are in basically push the brake shoes up into the drum. And by doing that, um, by replacing those, um, there'll be less play. Now these don't need replacing, but on the trailer they do. Um, on the trailer, all of the S cams, brakes, brake shoes, um, the drums, pretty much everything that we're changing here is out on the trailer. So I'm thinking we're going to get this truck up and running for less than 30,000, which as long as we keep it under 30, I am perfectly happy with. And, um, it's kind of hard for me to guess on where we're at right now. I think with the, uh, with the tires. And everything that we've put into the truck so far is probably 23, 26, 27. We probably have roughly 27.5 in this right now. And um, yeah, it, if I can keep it under 30,000, 30, I'm a happy camper. Um, I knew that there's probably gonna be some uh, costs in getting this thing up and running to being fully functional. And honestly, it's all stuff that we've been changing ourselves. Um, just by doing all this work ourselves, we're saving ourselves like 2,500 bucks in labor. Um, and that's for a local truck shop to do it. So I don't know. Um, I think dad and I are really liking doing this. It's a lot of fun. It's a learning experience, just like anything else. And, um, dad's remark was just how cheap it is for all these parts because like the drums, the drums weren't really all that expensive, um, compared to the boot that we had to put on the combine this year, the combine boot for the clean grain auger was, I think you said like 500 bucks. And one of these drums, which are way heavier, were way cheaper. So of course these are cast that we're putting on. Um, I don't think these ones are, I don't believe so. But uh, we're putting on cast ones and they're like 112, huh? 120 for each drum. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated uh, as we get going along. Um, we're going to be able to finish this up in no time and then we got to do the two over there. So this one took us roughly two days to do and not two full days, basically just with running and going and getting parts and stuff. I think that we're going to be able to 
change those ones over there. And even this one we took apart in literally under an hour and we got that new airbag in there as well. So I'll quit talking. I hope you guys all enjoy the new year. Happy 2019. And uh, yeah, that should be about it for 2018. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. You can kind of keep up to date on what is going on around the farm on a kind of daily updates on Snapchat especially. So with that, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.